Welcome to Interesting Talks with Footprints Counselling Service. I hope you've had a good day. This has been a very interesting year to say the least. I know some of the goals that I have had have had to be put on hold. I'm sure I speak for many people that are like that. So this evening's talk is on a positive mindset. Why we may not have one and what we can do to achieve one. Leave comments on Facebook, Twitter and on YouTube. If you're new on here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. What do you think it takes to achieve your goals? Hard work, lots of actions. While these are paramount to becoming successful in reaching your goals, neither of these are possible without having a positive mindset. As humans, we naturally tend to lean towards negative outlook when it comes to our hopes, dreams. We're prone to believe we have limitations either within ourselves or from external forces, keeping us from truly getting to where we want to in life. Our tendency is to think we'll never believe it until we see it. it suggests that our mindsets are focused on our goals not really being attainable and until they're achieved. The problem with this is this is a common mindset that fuels limiting beliefs and shows a lack of faith in our own self. Let's have a look at the placebo effect. What it shows us about the power of the mindset. Now the placebo effect is a perfect example of how mindsets can really be powerful. In scientific trials, a group of participants were told they'd receive medication that would heal an ailment that they were actually having. But actually they was given a sugar pill that does nothing, the placebo. After the trial, the participants believed it had a positive effect. Sometimes, and some of them even believed they were cured, but nothing could change. This is how powerful the mindset is. How do we apply this to our goals? Well, when we set goals and dreams, how often do we really believe they're gonna come into fruition? Have absolute faith that they can be achieved. Have complete unwavering expectations. Most of us don't because we hold on to negative mindsets and limiting beliefs about ourselves and that stops us from fully believing we are capable or it's even possible. We tend to listen to the opinions of others despite their misleading opinions and then we kind of bow to social pressures thinking that we can't act and we have to behave in a certain way to please others. There are many reasons we possess these types of mindsets but a successful mindset can be achieved. So let's have a look at how. How to create your positive mindset. People with success mindsets have a particular way of perceiving things. They have positive outlooks and they're able to put faith fully in their ability to succeed. With that in mind, here are a few ways that can turn a negative mindset into a successful positive one. Number one. A successful mindset comes from a growth mindset. How does a mindset even manifest itself? It comes from the way you talk to yourself in privacy, in your own head. Realising this will go a long way towards noticing how you speak to yourself and others around you. If it's mainly negative language you use when you talk about your goals and your aspirations, this is an example of a fixed mindset. A negative mindset brings with it a huge number of limiting beliefs. It creates fixed mindsets, ones that can't see beyond their own limitations. A growth mindset sees these limitations and looks beyond them. It finds ways to overcome obstacles and believes that this will result in success. When you think of your goal, a fixed mindset may think, if I fail, a growth mindset we look the same goal in the face and say failures happen, but that doesn't mean I won't be successful. There's a lot of power in changing your perspective of how you think and how you talk to yourself. Two, look for the successes. It's really important to get your mind focused on positive aspects of your goal. Finding inspiration through others can be a really uplifting way of keeping you on track and developing your successful mindset reinforcing your belief that your dreams can be achieved. Find people you can talk with about your, uh, your achievements and their achievements and see if they can be aligned. 
This is crucial if you're learning to develop a positive mindset. Three, eliminate to the best of your ability negativity. You can come up against a lot of negativity sometimes, either through other people or for the, within yourself, from within yourself. Understand that other people's negative opinions are created through their own fears and limiting beliefs. If you understand this, it will go a long way for you helping you to sustain a successful mindset. But a lot of us have a lot of negative chatter that comes from within and usually manifests in negative words such as, I can't, I won't, shouldn't. Sometimes we think of how we're going to achieve our goal statements and we use negative absolutes. It never works out for me or I will always fail. How to go from overwhelmed to motivated. When you notice these coming up in your head, you need to turn them around and say things like, it always works out for me. I never found. The trick is to believe it, no matter what's happened in the past. Remember, every new day is a clean slate. And for you to adjust your mindset. Number four, create a vision. In visualizing the end goal and seeing it in your mind is an important trait for successful mindsets. Allowing ourselves to imagine our success creates a powerful excitement that should not be underestimated. When our brain becomes excited at the thought of achieving our goals, we become more committed, work harder towards achieving it, and more likely to do whatever it takes to make it happen. If this involves creating a vision board that you can look at to remind yourself every day, then go for it. Small techniques like this can go a long way to sustaining your successful mindset and shouldn't be dismissed. Just because things did not work out last month does not mean they won't work out this month. We are, anyone can change their mindset and anybody who wants to can do and have positive outcomes from it. So if you found this talk useful, if you got, took some pointers from it, share it with friends or family or colleague, work colleagues. Um, thank you very much for listening. Share and leave comments on YouTube, Facebook or on Twitter. I'll get back to you. Think about your mindset. Take care. Bye for now.